self-inquiry. Okay. Hmm. I'll tie this in on a couple of themes. One is uh, work or a busy job, and the other is being in retreats and coming back to London. And um, okay, so. Self-inquiry, inquiry into what is the nature of self. And so as I talk, let's inquire together into the nature of what is the self. So if one is listening to these words, then identify how is self being experienced in this instant? What am I? So that's the question to ask. What am I right now in this moment? And get an experience. And if the experience of i is limited, then get a reading of that. So one is, is one experiencing oneself as body? Is there identification with the physical body? Or identification with thoughts? Or identification with images? Identification with changing of fluctuating feelings? Identification with fluctuations in the body? What is being identified in fact, whatever is being identified becomes self. And if something is strongly identified, it's exper the experience is that is the self, but the self becomes a contracted, limited self. So get a reading and experience yourself. Get a, a real reading now. What's the experience? Then, whatever is being experienced then this can only be experienced in something which is bigger than this experience. So if one is experiencing oneself as the body, well, there can only be awareness of the body if there is observing of that, of that constricted awareness from a place which is more limitless than that constricted awareness of body. So then let go of the identification with the body and be that which is witnessing the body. Be in this more limitless place of witnessing the body. If this is difficult, then be in a detached witnesser of body. Does the detached, is the detached witnesser then got anything to do with the body? Or is the body even appearing now? Also, if one had identified oneself as passing thoughts, well, what witnesses thoughts? What witnesses no thoughts, lots of thoughts, a few thoughts? Is the witnessing field of thoughts? Is that field, does any thoughts exist in that witnesser? And if there's no identification with thoughts, do thoughts even exist in this field of witnessing? The same can go for images. The metaphor is, in a cinema, the characters are always changing on the screen. And the drama is happening on the screen. But can one be the unfolding drama on the screen? What's what is the nature of the observer of the screen? Does the observer of the screen, does it move, does it change? And if it's moving and changing, what's observing that? What about time? 
What observes or witnesses or knows time? And is that which watches or watches with detachment or has no interest in time, is that field in time? So as you practically observe that which is limited, see if this observer is limited, and if it is, then what is observing this limited observer? As you go deeper, is the experience of isness lim limited or limitless? Is it in time or beyond time? What about location? Is the experience of self located? Or what observes location? Is that which witnesses location, all locations, is it in location? Is it, is it located or is it locationless? Is it in time or is it timeless? Has it got a limit or is it limitless? What is the nature? Let's inquire into the nature of self. Let's disidentify from all identifications and what's left. What is the recognition if all that that is identified within the realm of limits is released? What is the experience now? With that, Is there anyone here who's experiencing any form of limit, limitation as self? If so, and you'd like to inquire with me, let me know. If not, then just stay. If one is in the limitless, in the eternal, in the timeless, in the locationless, then no need to interact or speak. Just remain, remain in that. Then the practice is do not identify, do not hook into, do not associate with any thought, with any sensation within the body, with location, with time. Do not touch these things. Do not pick up the first thought. And just remain and allow this state to intensify. So I'm going to go into silence now and unless someone feels called to say something or ask for inquiry or to move the topic on, we can stay in this stillness. <laughs> 